Good morning, Princess. I am here at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Ronto Roasters, which is open for breakfast. For breakfast. And they have a, a new dish. I'll show you that in a second. But in honor of uh, International Women's Something or Other, which was sometime recently, I don't really know, I also am taking the opportunity to, uh, you know, pay our respects to uh, Cara Dune, uh, the estimable Tina Carano. Uh, unfortunately, it seems uh, like Disney is intent on firing anything real Star Wars, but that's okay. Uh, she will never be forgotten as a truly strong and independent woman. But uh, even more important for me is breakfast. This is the Triple Sun's breakfast wrap. It is uh, on, on the same, I guess, uh, pita as the Ronto wrap, but uh, this is uh, basically rabbit food. It's, uh, well, there's carrots and chickpeas and um, fake eggs in there, but I don't know. I, you know, I was about to say I've heard good things, but now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about this. I don't know, um, don't know why. Maybe no one's really made the effort to give it a try, but it sounded interesting, and I had nothing better to do this morning, although this afternoon is uh, unfortunately looking a bit busy, but here I am. All right, let's have our breakfast. I can say without a doubt, the best thing about Galaxy's Edge is the food. This was spectacular, really, really good. So whoever is in charge of food and beverage here, or even the head chef, whoever comes up with uh, what they serve here at uh, Ronto Roasters and over at Dockton Bay 7, uh, they need to put you in charge of Lucasfilm. Like, tomorrow would be good? Well, yeah. Okay, make one more dish, then you can go and take over Lucasfilm. How's that? I think everybody would be absolutely thrilled with the results. Um, my only recommendation would be eat it fast if it's a cool day. It is cooler than expected today, or at least this morning. Uh, so it did cool down, unfortunately. Again, my fault. So I will try it again in a few weeks when it is nice and hot and uh, it stays at a nice edible temperature. I presume it's supposed to be hot because it wasn't cold. Very interesting. However, uh, still wonderful, wonderful. A definite buy. I do like this better than the regular breakfast wrap. So that's uh, that's a lot. Okay. Don't really know what I'm going to do next. I don't actually, but I am going to be back for lunch. I had forgotten that I have a boarding pass uh, for Rise. I only remembered as I was walking out of the area. So I'm just going to hang out here. It will ripen in about uh, 45 minutes. Take a little tour. I've uh, been thinking about this attraction and. Uh, you know, the name Rise of the Resistance is just kind of, I don't, it's just like, so what? Rise? Big deal. It should be Star Wars Rebels Victory at Endor. Much, much better. And they can use that. Disney, you can use that once it's uh, rethemed to proper Star Wars. And even the blue milk is pretty good if you do the vodka hack. In the queue for Battle at Endor? Victory at Endor? I don't know, which one do you uh, like? Oh, that was a bit disappointing. The cannons still aren't working. I'm back at Backlot Express because as a uh, sustainable adult, I can make a lot of decisions for myself. And that includes having dessert in the middle of the day between breakfast and lunch. So I came over here for a new uh, sweet treat that they have, and it is the paint can cake. It is um, confetti ice cream with uh, buttercream filling, I think, and I think the fondant topping sounded uh, quite tasty, especially the uh, confetti, rainbow confetti, I think it is. And it's just, uh, I don't know, too cute not to try. The paint can cake is already a winner. The icing, the yellow icing, is a mango chocolate icing, and it is really, really tasty. I have only tried a little bit of the icing, and I can already tell I will like this more than the Wookiee cookie uh, we had last time. As predicted, the paint can cake was a delicious little treat. Very well prepared. The frosting, the cake, great presentation. So definitely worth a try. Definitely enjoyed it better than the Wookiee cookie. I pains me to say that, but yes, it it was far and away better. So. 
wonderful dessert for midday. I will have to start thinking about actual lunch soon, but uh, I think I'm gonna let this settle for an hour or so. Then um, we're gonna try another wrap, believe it or not, back at, uh, well, now it's gonna be Docking Bay 7. So I'm gonna do a lap around the park and uh, well, then that's what's next. But I do wanna talk about something pretty important first. And that's, what is a job? Uh, yeah, I'm at SeaWorld right now. It, it is in the future. The queen lent me a chronometric particle generator, so I decided to futz around with it a little bit. But, you know, the thing is, a job is whatever you make it. And don't let a lot of people ever tell you that what you do is wrong or isn't worthwhile or that you shouldn't be doing it. And I said, don't let a lot of people, because there are some people you should listen to, you know, those close to you who genuinely have your best interests at heart. You know, but even then, you know, remember, a, a job, especially here in America and in a lot of the, you know, freer Western world, is really whatever you make of it. And I'll, I'll describe it as anything you can do to sustain yourself and those you need to sustain, like your family and you know, helping out friends and things like that, which is also very important. Anything you can do that lets you accomplish that within the moral confines of your society or, well, within the real moral confines of your society is a job. It does not have to be a nine to five office job. It doesn't have to be a union job. It doesn't have to have like a dedicated, you know, HR department and vacation time, you know, and all that bureaucracy. Anything that you can do is a job, you know, an, an artist, uh, someone creative, uh, an actor, performer, you know, those are not traditional jobs, but they get paid because they do something for society, and more importantly, they do something that society finds value in. That's how they get paid. That's how they earn their money, which is their contribution to society. We'll talk about that later. So the wonderful thing is, you know, we have that ability that anything that we can come up with is our job. And we can always decide what that's going to be. And don't let anyone ever tell you that what you do, you know, like isn't worthwhile or you shouldn't be doing it. You know, listen to us, listen to me, of course. But, you know, there's this attitude out there and I've seen it a lot where, you know, people want to just criticize other people for doing something that they don't think is worthwhile. But that's not the case. That's not the case. Like I said, anything that you can do to sustain yourself and your family and who you need or who is counting on you is a job, no matter what it is. And so long as, like I said, you know, you're a good person when doing it, that's okay. But there are problems that a lot of people have. And, you know, I have experienced that as well. Yeah, I know, it's only been a few minutes since I had the uh, delicious paint can cake, but uh, in this timeline, I'm already very hungry, so I decided to get something from the SeaWorld uh, Food Festival, which is still going on. So I chose the crispy pork belly bites. I figured this would be a good thing. Uh, the rice couldn't fill in because I am super, super hungry, although I do need to save room for that other wrap at uh, Docking Bay 7. Or, you know what, maybe Ronto Roasters I might be able to get back in time. Actually, I can get back in time. I'll just get back before 3 p.m. Okay, well, there you go. That's the plan. The crispy pork belly was quite delicious. Uh, very well cooked. Uh, nice and it had a slight crisp to it. The uh, pork belly itself was not chewy, which is gross. So it was really, really good. Um, yeah, okay, that's definitely uh, a buy. Now, I realized why I'm so hungry, and that's because... Uh, stupid meat. So... When I picked up the uh, chronometric generator, the queen offered a drone to kind of show me how to use it. I refused, and I didn't realize I have it set in consciousness mode. So I'm hungry because only my consciousness was sent into the future. It has to be the future because I don't remember being here in this outfit. That's how I noticed I'm wearing different clothes. So I'll, I'll figure it out. Now, through the magic of Borg chronometric particles, I am back at Ronto Roasters for lunch where I have ordered the second new, uh, I guess, vegetarian option, and uh, that is this, the Zucchi Roll. 
Now, having read both descriptions more carefully, I think a lot of the components are the same. Uh, this one just has the zucchini as a base in place of, uh, well, I guess as a sausage substitute. And uh, this morning it was the, uh, the, the, the vegetarian eggs. Doesn't make a difference. I would have tried them both. So I'm going to try this one now. Also, or first, as expected, I have gotten a number of compliments on my shirt because everyone loves Cara Dune. Nobody likes Kathleen Kennedy. If only the right people would realize that. I kind of have to make this quick because I am running out of power, but in summary, this was also really good. But it is essentially the same thing as uh, the morning wrap. It's just that the zucchini is uh, the substitute for the eggs. And between those two, I actually prefer the fake eggs. So that means I prefer the, um, the triple suns wrap over the regular breakfast wrap, but definitely prefer the regular Ronto wrap over the uh, Zucchi wrap. So both are, well actually all four are really good, but those two would be my go-to depending on uh, breakfast or lunch. But again, to repeat, the culinary team here in Galaxy's Edge or at Disney's Hollywood Studios, whichever, however it's organized, it has done a fantastic job with all of the food here at uh, these two places. I haven't been to um, the cantina yet, I know, oh my god. But uh, so far, yes, these two, my favorite places right now to dine at Walt Disney World. But I'm still, I'm still trying all of the dishes at Satuli Canteen. So I, th I think there's gonna be a little bit of competition, but for right now, yeah, the action is definitely here. So because the wraps were so similar, I decided to jump back here and try something else. So I am fortunately still hungry now, so let me go over to, I think, the German market and uh, get something there that I've had my eye on. Pretzel bratwurst, and that is cheese sauce, likely beer cheese sauce on the side, and uh, something I remember from a long, long time ago. To make a long story short, a long, long time ago, went to Germany with a couple friends, and uh, one of them was German. And as soon as we got into the center of town, uh, before even going to the hotel or something like that, she insisted on going into the train station, or actually in the train station, going to a booth and getting one of those, a sausage with mustard. And we're like, uh, okay. And she's like, I haven't had this in years. I gotta get one. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So we all got one and oh my God, was it good. Yes, just from a booth in the train station. So anyway, I don't know what to expect here, but uh, that is my memory of a dish uh, similar to this. So yeah, let's just combine the memories with hopefully the good flavors and enjoy it. That was really good. Uh, the, the cheese sauce was good. The uh, brat wrapped was good. I wish they would offer mustard uh, as well, but other than that, that was uh, pretty darn enjoyable. Um, they might also have it here. Well, no, they don't have the exact same thing, but I think they have something similar. So this uh, could become a new snack location. I've never actually gotten anything here. The, the pretzel house, pretzel hut. I don't know. I said it in the last video. Whatever. I, I'll try it. Now, to be slightly fair, I guess, I have not been criticized for the job I do. It's important to a lot of people, but I have been criticized for how we have to do the job. So before you came along, I had to travel a lot, which would very, very often, for years in fact, involve me flying to a location and working during the week and then flying home. So I was flying back and forth every weekend. On more than one occasion, I would uh, get, uh, I don't know, get these kind of indignant comments about how wasteful it is and blah, 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 but, it didn't really matter because, you know, what I did is valuable enough to do that, to pay for me to travel, to, to get the work done. So I had no problem with it, but there are, these people, unfortunately, have uh, this sense of moral entitlement or moral superiority um, that they can judge people for the jobs that they do. And in my case, you know, it was kind of difficult. They didn't really judge my carbon footprint and whatnot, but, you know, they will just turn around and then judge people for the actual job that they do. And they will complain or whine that, you know, creators, uh, you know, since you're watching this, people who also make informative videos, 
that uh, they don't have a real job or they need to do something productive or you know they're just you know, wasting their time or whatever and I'm like who the hell are you to tell these people oh by the way I don't make any money doing this. this is definitely not my job I just do this honestly for you but you know they criticize these people who are making money doing this and no you you don't get to do that they're making money people are watching and contributing and buying merchandise and and things like that to the extent that they can use this as a living that's a job and it doesn't matter what you think about it the money that they earn is a contribution to society because you know through all of our actions we decide that what they do for us is worthwhile maybe i just watch an ad maybe i buy a t-shirt you know or something like that but all of those decisions that we make their fans enable them to make a living some of them make a very very good living some of them make a very 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 good living for something that seems quite trivial and stupid like uh honestly playing video games but guess what that's still a job you know yes you play video games for a living and make a lot of money okay i have no problem with that they've managed to do this good for them that's awesome that they can do this it's a lot more work than people think but these people that can just sort of criticize this kind of work as not productive well no society deems it worthwhile because they're making the money it is it is moral and yeah that, that's it you know it's their job no matter what judgment other people democrats liberals leftists try to pass it's still a job so you know if you want to have a a nice uh, a comfortable job a secure job in an office or a union or whatever that's fine but don't let anyone ever tell you that any job is not worthwhile if if they can make money or if you can make money and support the people that depend on you that's fine that is a job all right so uh i think i'm gonna have dessert here before heading back to the original timeline although actually oh you know with this consciousness travel i'm not really sure how that works if i jump in there will time have passed or if i jump after i'm hungry okay i need to jump into a time after i'm hungry that will work okay I, i'll figure it out yeah whatever technology so this was supposed to be tomorrow i really need to learn how to use that chronometric machine anyway um I guess I came to Disney Springs and had poutine and a drink. Okay, well, oh, good for me. I was trying to say goodbye during a nice, beautiful day, which I hope it's going to be, but I'll find out later or a couple days from now. I don't know. Again, I'm still learning how to use the machine, but, well, that's what a job is. And I had some great food. I know this has been all over the place. Again, I really need to learn to use how that chronometric machine works. I guess I'm bad at time travel, but that is why I am thankful for my problems.